What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. And a lot of you guys have been asking me through Instagram, through YouTube, how do I prepare for the police academy? What are the things that I need to do to prepare for that mile and a half run and so forth? Well, I'm here to tell you. Let's just talk first about what is going to be required of you for the police academy. Now this is going to be most police academies, other police academies going to be different. You need to look up in your area what your police academy requires. You should be able to go to their website and go on and find what their requirements are to getting into that police academy. They should have it clearly posted. What I did actually recently is I noticed that they lowered the standards on the police academy that I went to uh, maybe eight plus years ago. So I, I think it's almost way too easy now. But hey, it's easy to get in, but it's tough to continue to go through. You have to do a mile and a half run, and you can't just do the run. Right? You need to do it in a certain amount of time. Now, counting are gonna vary. Some counting are gonna have you do it like under 12 minutes, which is pretty fast. And then they can go all the way up to 18 minutes, which is plenty of time. I think you can actually walk really fast and probably pass that in 18 minutes. Um, but you can't walk, and most academies, if you walk, you're DQ'd. All right, so you've got to run in some way, at least jog, all right? There's no walking. You need to prepare for closer to those 12 minutes. The closer you get to the 12 minutes, the more safe you're going to be when it actually comes time to do that. When I was going through the academy, I remember it being like 14 minutes. You had to do it like under like 14 minutes. Now it's 18. So, I mean, they're kind of lowering the standards a little bit, which is, is good for some people, but it's kind of scary because, you know, like maybe they, they just really are struggling to get officers. So... Uh, kind of interesting that they lowered it. All right, so after the run, 15 push-ups. Yeah, that's what the academy lowered it to, 15 push-ups. But when I went in, you had to do 40. 40 push-ups in under a minute. Now, that's what most academies are going to be anywhere from, I guess, the 15 to 40 push-ups. So 15 push-ups, I think, is easy. I think it's cake. You know, it might be hard for you, but you can certainly train and get to the 15 push-ups in no time. All right, 40 push-ups I think is a good standard, but they clearly lowered that, which is kind of crazy, but hey, easier for you. So that's what you can expect. You can expect anywhere from 15 to 40 push-ups. Now when it comes to the push-ups, you should be focusing on getting up to that 40 number, all right? 40 push-ups in under a minute. That should be your goal, all right? Because if you can do that, you can do 15 push-ups, no freaking problem at all. After those push-ups, you're gonna be going into the sit-ups. Now, just so you guys know, these are back to back. So you're gonna do the run, you're gonna do the push-ups, and then you're gonna do the sit-ups in some way or another. It's all gonna be together all at once. You're not gonna get much of a break in between. So getting into the sit-ups. Now, I have a confession. Uh, when I first went through the Academy's PAT, I failed the sit-ups. Yeah, it sucked. I was like too short. Yeah. Sit-ups have been my enemy for a very long time. But what I did is I went back to work, worked on my sit-ups, came back for the PAT again, and passed it the next time and got into the following academy class. Actually, no, I still made it into that academy class because they offered me a chance to do it again. So don't give up hope if that happens to you because it happened to me and you can still do it. The academy that I went to, their current standards have also been lowered in the sit-ups department to 25 sit-ups. Now 25 sit-ups, is easy for me. That should be easy for a lot of people. It used to be 40, and 40 was tough for me to get to. 40 sit-ups was definitely tough for me to get to. But 25, that should be easy, all right? A little bit of work in, and you should get there no problem. But like I said, for all of these, your goal should be that higher number. I want you guys to focus on getting 40 sit-ups, all right? You get that 40 sit-ups, you have a plenty of cushion to make sure and secure that you're gonna get those 25 out. All right guys, so those are the standard things that you're gonna to need to be able to do to get into the academy. Now within the academy, you're gonna be doing all kinds of different things. You're gonna be jumping over walls, jumping over fences, monkey bars, pull-ups, running like every day. So your running is gonna prove even more within the academy, but you need to make sure that you're gonna secure yourself within the academy before you do that. And you also wanna make sure that, hey, maybe you can do those 15 sit-ups, 25 push-ups, 25 sit-ups, 15 push-ups and the mile and a half run, no problem. But once you start doing it every day, it's going to really wear you out and they're gonna know that you didn't really 
prepare enough for the academy. So you really got to start working on it. You got to start working on it right now. If this is what you're considering doing. If you work out now and if you are in good shape, then there's a good chance you're already ahead of the game. If you're not, and you've been you know slacking off for a while, or you just really have never really worked out, but hey, you want to get into it, and you're ready to be a police officer, then it's time to start focusing on that training. The police academy is not going to be about lifting weights. There might be some where that's implemented, but most of them are going to be body calisthenics, body weight workouts. That's all it's going to be. You're going to be doing a lot of burpees, you know, a lot of sit-ups, a lot of push-ups. You're going to be doing all that kind of stuff, just a lot of body weight. And it's a lot of it's going to be a team effort as well. You're going to be sitting there doing planks, and your teammates all have to do planks with you. And if one of them goes down, you got to pick it back up and do it even longer. It sucks. So let's first talk about how to prepare for the run. What are some things that you could do today to start preparing for that? Now let's say we start from the basics. All right, I want you to start with a jog. All right, I want you to jog for like two minutes, and then do a walk. All right. Unless you're already ahead of the game in the running, then go for go for runs. If you're ahead of the game in the running, I want you to start pushing for those three to four mile runs. All right, start getting comfortable with that because you're going to be doing a lot of running in the academy. But if you're not, go back to those jogs. Start with jogs, two minutes, walk for a minute, get back on for two minutes, and do that for 30 to 40 minutes. And I want you to start increasing the jogs and lessening the walk time. All right, until you're just doing full jogs, and then you're going to be increasing those jogs to runs, all right? Run for two minutes, jog for a minute, run for two minutes, jog for a minute, okay? Until that is becoming a full run, okay? That's a really good way to ease you guys into running and keep doing that. Once you start doing that, you can start working on sprints, all right? Doing a nice run for a little bit, crank out a sprint, nice little sprint, and then slow it down. Maybe walk for a little bit, and then get back on it, run, sprint, all right? Those things are just gonna help you build your endurance and get, become a much better runner. What I did is I mapped out a four mile course, okay? Try to find a four mile area somewhere close by in your neighborhood, map it out, and make sure that you have that distance correct so you're not shorting yourself. And then get those, get those miles in, all right? Start running that, like I said, follow those steps, and you should have no problem building your endurance and increasing your running. As soon as you get done with the run, crank out as many sit-ups as you can. Now the academy is going to require you, most of them are going to require you to do this. You're going to have to lock your hands behind your head, all right, and then crank out that sit-up, okay? Your, knee, your elbows to your knees, elbows to your knees, all right? And you have to keep your hands behind your head. Sometimes they might slip a little bit, come a little bit unlocked, and but as long as they're still behind your head, you should be fine. They should not DQ you for that. All right, so that's how you need to train when you're doing these sit-ups. So crank out those sit-ups right off of that run. What I want you to do with the sit-ups is just do as many as you can, all right? Do as many as you can, rest for about 10 seconds, do as many as you can again, rest for about another 10 seconds, and then do it once more, all right? So you're doing about three sets uh, with 10 second rest in between. Just do as many as you can. You don't have to be master of all of it right at once, all right? If you keep doing that, you're going to get better each time. All right, and then you're going to jump right into the push-ups and you're going to do the same thing with those push-ups. You know, do as many as you can, rest 10 seconds, do as many as you can again, rest 10 seconds, and then do as many as you can for the last time. After that, you want to jump into some squats. Just do five jump squats, but what I want you to do is I want you to do that higher each time. So start with a light little jump squat, a little bit higher, a little bit higher and just try to get higher, okay? Because you want to increase your vertical jump. In the academy, when you go to the academy, they're going to have you do a vertical jump and see where your progress is. You're going to jump up and you're going to whack this, these little uh, things that hang out off a pole to see how high you can actually jump with your arm fully extended. You'll notice at the end of the academy that you actually jump uh, a few inches higher, if not more, uh, by the end of the academy. It's actually quite impressive and it's kind of cool that they do that at the beginning so you can see how far uh, you've gained uh, throughout the academy. So that is something that you'll have to do. So doing those five squats is going to help you. It's also going to help you get over those walls and fences and everything like that. Okay, so those things are like the basics. A couple other things you could do to help you increase if you want to mix things up are ladders. So like ladder exercises. So same thing with like the sit-ups and push-ups. You can do these both is you can do, you know, one push-up. One, all right, and then you're going to do it to two. 
but you're going to do two push-ups. And then you're going to do three, and you're going to do three push-ups, okay? All the way up to ten, and then I want you to go down from ten. So do ten again, and go down to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right? All the way down, and do the same thing for your sit-ups, okay? This is a really good way to help build that up. Um, just another different uh, way for you to work on instead of doing the same things over and over again It'd be a nice way to switch it up now Make sure you guys take some like rest days and by rest days I mean do like a light jog day or something make sure you're doing something physical every day uh, But try not, not to do intense things every day. Don't get yourself hurt. All right Really don't want to get yourself hurt right before the Academy because that's just gonna DQ you you're not gonna be able to go to the Academy if you're injured uh, and then you have to wait for the next time when you are fully healed. So be careful with all that. Yeah. Parkour. All right, and the most important tip, guys, that I can give you, this is the final thing that I'm going to leave you guys with, is your diet, okay? That is extremely important. It's time to change up your diet if you haven't done so already. If you're eating fatty, greasy foods, soda, Get rid of the crap. Start look, Literally start looking at the ingredients in your stuff and look at it and be like, mm, should I be eating this? Mm, probably not. It's really gonna help you out. It's really gonna help you advance a lot faster. If you cut out sodas, just start drinking just water. Get one of those big jugs of water, fill it up full and drink the whole thing. All right, do like a gallon, gallon a day or you can get one of these. I have this, so I'll fill this up. And uh, I'll carry that with me on a day's work. Uh, sometimes I'll get more bottles of water than that, uh, but you can fill that up and keep drinking throughout the day. And then your lunches, all right? You wanna eat healthy lunches. You don't wanna be eating crap lunches. You don't wanna be going out for lunch. Pack your lunch, pack healthy lunches. I eat a plant-based diet and it has really helped me. I really like doing that, uh, but I'm not telling you that you have to switch your diet up completely from not eating meat or anything like that but just eat clean things, eat grilled chicken, rice, things like that, things that are gonna help you be comfortable and not slow you down, all right? You're gonna notice if you eat a healthy meal one day versus eating a crappy meal one day when you're out doing those exercises, you're gonna feel it and you're probably gonna vomit. Work on it, guys. It's very, very important that you guys consider that as part of your exercise and part of your program for getting ready in the academy. And there are programs out there. A really good uh, program uh, website that I will link down below uh, is Hard to Kill Fitness. Uh, they have really good programs, and they also have a free running program. If you go down to the bottom of their website, click on the free running program, you just have to shoot your email in there, uh, name and email address, and they will send that free running program out to you and that is a really good one to use as well. So there are a lot of options out there. It's gonna count on you guys to get off your butts and get to it. Give it 110%. If you really wanna be a police officer, you really wanna be in law enforcement, you will give it everything you got and you will start right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next Academy video, which is gonna be talking more about the things that you need to do to get into the Academy further beyond the physical exams. So. See you guys in the next one. Bye.